Hi everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. I'm doing uh, some reading of Tesla's books about uh, his interview with uh, with his lawyer in 1919 or something uh, before the Marconi uh, suit. And the book is edited by Leland Anderson and it's got some very interesting stuff in it. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm testing a capacitor, it's a 1 nanofarad, 10,000 volt. I've got it across this strange looking sectioned out coil and I ping it with a 12 volt battery over here. And uh, the scope, uh, once in a while, would give me a very interesting picture. And that waveform is uh, I'm on 50 volts per centimeter, so that's, uh, and I got the trigger set for 250 volts, so that's, uh, that's 200 volts peak to peak right there, uh, 250, uh, must have been positive and negative, anyway, so it's way, way past 250, but this doesn't occur, what I'm doing is I just barely touch the battery to the, to the coil cap combination. Once in a while it doesn't it doesn't do this. All of a sudden it creates this massive voltage. And uh, what I'm figuring out is the reason why it does this is because there's multiple contacts occurring from the battery to the cap coil combination. And like Tesla said, the swing set idea, what's happening is when the 12 volts is released from the cap coil combo as the waveform goes negative, just before it goes negative, the pulse is also getting pushed again by another minute contact. So now I've got two pushes going to the negative, and I get this huge ringing event. Now we can capture this with diodes and caps, and uh, so you get way more than 12 volts in a and stored in a capacitor. Anyway, uh, Tesla also was talking about in the interview that you can get uh, uh, you put one kilowatt into a system that's undampened and you can get uh, only one kilowatt out. If you put one kilowatt into a dampened system and basically that's what this is, is a dampened waveform here. You can see that even though the system is disconnected, the ringing event keeps continuing to occur as the ether gets back to its normal zero point position. That's, in Tesla's statement, he says one kilowatt with a dampened waveform would give you two kilowatts, four kilowatts, five kilowatts output from a one kilowatt input. And this is what he's relating to. He's talking about this environment out here where the ether's ringing in a dampened fashion. The, the ringing curve here is caused by the resistance in the coil cap combination. The LC uh, equation uh, for frequency of resonance is uh, 1 over 2 pi times square root LC and uh, that you can use to determine a, a certain component or whatever. If you know one component, you can determine the other one simply by calculating it. So I know C is one nanofarad, so I substitute that into the equation, and I know the frequency, the scope says is 972 kilohertz, so it's almost a megahertz running there, and uh, that's it. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Have a good day.